morning everyone and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here welcome long time no vlog to you guys it's not been that long because i have that many vlogs on my phone and i need to get edited and uploaded but i actually attempted to start the vlog yesterday evening when i finished work and i just anyways i am just on my way to wow Just on my way to Kate's, and Kate is my sissy, my hairdresser, aka Lula May. Obviously, I am going to be starting there soon, so I have to go sort out some admin. Um, I haven't put makeup on because I'm literally doing house stuff the rest of the day. I have put on lip product because elephant in the room, I've had my lips done. <laughs> They're a little bit bruised. Um, it's actually been three years, nearly four, since I've had my lips done and i i was gonna vlog the whole experience however my reaction slash swelling was extreme i was borderline having a nervous breakdown like messaging the nurse being like we need to get this dissolved like asap rocky um but it's obviously settled we're not fully healed yet hence the lipstick and nothing else just because I feel like the bruise is just, dead, it's just a dead giveaway. Um, let me just turn on my brightness. So yeah, I've kind of just been chilling and healing in privacy, I guess. I haven't really told a lot of people that I've actually had them done. Um, but yes, um, I, I don't really know what's going on with that. So I kind of filled you in on that and then my clothes order arrived and that's what i was doing this morning i was just emailing them so i'm going to insert the footage from when i got home last night from work so you could see what went down and then i will catch you up on the day okay so we are home i'm just gonna get my clothes washing it stuff because obviously I'm gonna have to put the earrings in this just to make sure they're nice and jerky. I don't know. So I'm just gonna pop some of that in the lead. I'm gonna get some cotton. Oh look he's gold cosmetic pads I don't know just to like give my ears a wipe um so let's see what they look like first I haven't even often <laughs> I'm like set and just put them in and I'm like don't even like them so if you watched oh okay if you watched my last video you'll see that I ordered what I think there's something missing because I ordered two of these and then these two so there's one missing which that's disappointing I don't think there's two in here, is there? Oh. It says that two have been dispatched, but they definitely haven't. I don't know why I'm having a blonde moment, but that definitely didn't. That wasn't there. Okay, yeah, there's definitely only one in here. So I'm missing anything. Okay, 
I'm just going to have to email them and deal with that if I really get excited to put them in my ears. How annoying. So, whilst I wait to hear back from what Chloe say about my missing earring, these, I think they're all for the same-ish part of your ear. Um, so let me just have a look what this one looks like. So hard to get into. So, where is the opening? Ah, okay. So it's literally, oh, so this is what this one looks like. Um, and on one side, I don't know if it'll focus, it just like opens. So that could be cute. Um, Cause I thought of getting smaller ones for that one up there, and then the other ones are basically a smaller version of this, and that's from Pandora. Um, and that's a bit similar to what I had in before. I think these are um, I don't know which one is which. This one of well, two of them are going to be sailing silver, and then two are silver 18g paved. So, I think these are sterling silver. Don't quote me, but hopefully, we're not going to get an infection. So, my only concern is is that going to be too big for here? But I don't think it's going to be. So yeah, it literally clasps like my Pandora ones do. So I'm going to chuck that in the Claire's liquid. Um, and we shall see how that looks i'll go with the top one first because if it looks too big then i'll because i, I want to have matching ones there then i'll have to wait for the other one with that other one to arrive before i have matching gears again but all being well it won't look too big apologies if you just heard my dad burp in the kitchen I'll just pull that out of the liquid and you, oh, you can see I'm just using my mirror hoping that it is still pierced because it's been a little while oh yeah we are still pierced that went in rather easily <laughs> oh cute thing is does it look too big does it not that is the question do you think it looks too big we'll try the other one I mean either way these will match until the other one arrived I will part and like do I just send that other one back and get two more of these for my lobe, you know? Shall we see? Uh, so let's see if that fits here. Because if it fits here, then I'll just get two more of these. Because these are cute. Oh, yeah, I think it will. cute yeah i think i'll just get some more of these ones okay so let me pop that in the liquid pop that back in there
Um, I'm not completely sure that I put the thing back in the right one now. So I can just take them out to exchange because they were. Yeah, cool. Right, so, sorry, talking to myself. Well, I'm always talking to myself. Just give this one a clean. So here is my little ear. Hopefully these don't get infected. But we shall see. I don't think. We shall see. So yeah, that is my ear done. I'm just going to make sure I keep on um, wiping it with the piercing lotion. And I will also... Um, Okay, so I can just sort out a return and what I'll do is I'll just order two more of those. Hopefully it's just really stock for my ear. So I'll sort out that return tomorrow. Um and my other parcel. So I had already opened this I didn't open it, open it, but I took it out this way didn't take as long. And I ordered myself a new Fred and Far pinky ring. I do already have this one, which is my ruby, which is my birthstone. I did also have a bigger, just like clear one, and I lost it. I have a feeling it fell down the seat in Max's car, but we've not been able to find it. Anyways, when I saw this one, I was like, I have to have it. And it was a limited edition one. This is how your Fred and Far rings come. Oh my god, it's so pretty. But this is a rose quilt one. And here she is. So my new little rose quilt pinky ring. Isn't she beautiful? Um Beautiful. I do have a rose quartz. Is it rose quartz? Yeah, it is rose quartz. I have a rose quartz crystal. I have a rose quartz ball. Look at it. So pretty. And I do have a rose quartz necklace. Um, I just don't know if oh, I need so <laughs> just walking all the way around my bed if you have followed me for a while I used to wear this necklace all the time it doesn't really look so what rose quartz in this light but this probably does have some damage but I just need a new chain because the chain that I originally got it on broke maybe and then I had it on another chain but it just wasn't it's was like a not a very nice chain this is actually my Swarovski bracelet that Max asked me to be his girlfriend with but the I've actually got it here these little things oh you can kind of see I've started to go copper and it was annoying me so I said to him I was like do you mind if I DIY it into a necklace and he was like do whatever you want with it so I have turned that into a necklace um and obviously this would look quite cute underneath but I just need a nice chain to pop it on 
So as you can see, I love rose quartz and here is my new low. Oh, I love it. So I picked that up. I'll show you this tomorrow in the sunlight, but that is my new friend of our rose quartz ring because I did love my other one um, and I lost it. So yeah, the self love movement. And it's funny, I can't remember how long I had my last one before me and Max got together. But I remember Melody who runs Fred and Far and um, she always replies to me, she's so nice. I love how you get things. Sorry. Um package for Fred and Far. Um she always replies and I can remember when we've been together for a year, I sent her like my pinky ring, like a picture of me and my pinky ring, and then a picture saying like look, like a year later. So I can't wait until I actually have like an engagement ring next to my ring. Um because I think she'd really like that. So, that is what I got myself. What I'm going to do now is my nails and toenails. These, I actually did these last night, but I kind of did them quick in the middle of revising. And I've just been staring at them all day, like they're so bumpy and just not very good. They are my natural nails, uh, but I just put a build gel on them and a top coat. I mean, gel top coat. But my... I've not in work or in surgery for over a week and it's Easter weekend and it's so funny because I did think about doing my nails like this yesterday I was like no don't do it you really are breaking the rules if you do that and then for me to realise I'm not in surgery for over a week which is insane so I'm going to go with my favourite colour I'm not sure which one I'm going to use because I do have a couple of options let me just have a quick look at look um, so I'm going to go with lilac so last lockdown <laughs> last lockdown this was like my go to shade absolutely loved it and I was like oh yeah I'm going to put that on but I have been sticking with the brand Gelux so I have this one which is also oh where are you a nice lilac I think I'm gonna go with that one because I just feel like that would look nicer with my new ring so I'm gonna do my nails and my toenails so that is step one to my pamper routine doing my nails um so I will show you them when they're done so this is the before it's probably gonna be a bit darker when I finish um because I mean, the sun isn't set yet, but it's definitely setting. Why is that nail so like, shoof? That's so mean, isn't it? <laughs> Look at it. Nice, like these are all my naturals. So yeah, here is the before. And next they're going to be lilac. Um, do I do the same on my toes? Yeah, I will. So you need to get these out. So yeah, I'm going to do my fingers and my toes. Watch some Grey's Anatomy. And we'll be back for part two. Because that's step one and two. It's fingers and toes, yeah? Okay. So, obviously my main priority is revising. My exam is just over a week away. Um, I'm nervous. I'm really nervous. Um, I have gone back to my original style of revision. However, when I looked over a mock exam, there was stuff on there that I didn't know. So I need to... Basically, what I'm doing now is rewriting all of my notes and adding in extra stuff before I then go through and make bullet points on each section. There is just so the amount of things that could potentially be in this exam are ridiculous but the amount of questions that i'll get asked on each potential section is like two to three max so it is a it is a bit of a stress because i could study like a whole subject and not even get asked one question on it yeah 
that is one thing that I do not like about my diploma, is it? Um, the exams, they're just, some of the stuff that you have to get asked is just ridiculous. Because if you watched a vlog a while ago when I did my radiography exam, I can't do x-rays. Like I can't uh, select the exposure, I can't even press the button. I have to go and do another course on radiography before I can do that. But yet the questions that I was asked in that radiography exam, you would think that I could do the x-rays and I can't. I can just process them. Anyways, so that's what it's kind of like with this exam because I have to learn about all the different types of anaesthetic, anaesthesia, anaesthesia, the amount of parts per milligram of adrenaline that is in them and all of this stuff and it's like, what? I don't give local anaesthetic. Like, so yeah, it's just intense. It's a lot. But in the midst of doing all of that, we are going to be, I say we, me, I'm going to be bleaching my hair extensions. And I know, do as I say, not as I do, do not bleach your hair extensions. However, the vibe that I want to go for, you can't get in hair extensions. And from my experience, dyeing hair extensions darker is always the worst. It's the worst. They just, just don't just don't do it. They end up so much darker than what you want them to be, somewhat patchy, and it's just not ideal. So I'm going for like a balayage. So it's literally just gonna be like mid to ends. Um and yeah, I hope it's gonna work. So I'm also gonna pick up some bleach from work as well obviously we are using salon only products because i'm going to try to be as kind to them as possible i do have olaplex on hand to do an olaplex treatment on them as well as the aussie three minute miracle mask and i'm going to tone them with my nutricolor which is a such a nice um conditioning toner and that is what i use for my own hair and i just love it so that is the plan of the afternoon but i do have a couple of gifts well i have two job polishes for kate and then i bought us both something for work so i'm going to give her that when we get there i will show you when she's opened it but yeah um it's going to be a day indoors i'm really well not sad but basically the weather has been absolutely beautiful the past three days days off work granted i'm gonna be revising but you know i could have a couple hours break and get some vitamin d but no so now i've prepped staying in on those other days because i should have gone out like i don't know why i thought it was just sunny <laughs> uh, the weekend apparently we're gonna get snow so love that for me you can see um, I've already done oh I've already done all the side pieces uh, that go on the side of my hair so I've just got all the back section left here so I thought I would quickly show you how I've been doing it just in case any of you want to break the rules and do this as well so these two are the ones that I'm going to write at the bottom of my head. I'm just going to do it all as one chunk because like the bottom piece I'm not really um, too bothered about how blonde it is. So I get my comb. I just brush it. Oh, you can't really see. Oh, there we go. So I just come through and weave. Just 
making sure I've gone right through to the bottom because obviously I've got two left stuck together here and then separate that chunk out and just like pull it up and get some foil and then pull the extension up the box I'm <laughs> using a delivery box and just get my little back combing brush and just ever so lightly back home so there's no harsh line and then I just put my hand on here and then I'll get my comb just to like comb it through and then I'll get a big thick block of bleach and just pop that in the middle section almost to kind of just hold the hair then on the foil and just make sure I put a nice coating on so I have made sure to get a mixture of like the darker blondes and the like the beige in apologies my dad knocked on my door but that is the first one in so obviously that is all going to be left untouched I'm in two minds whether or not I'm going to go through and just paint some bits on them um, let me pick some more for you um, so one, two, three so three more and then we are done um, but yeah, I haven't decided if I'm going to do paint outs, as they are called. Um, because I don't know how blonde I want my ends to be. Um, thank God, look at that. <laughs> These have just been on my bed for the past couple of days. Um, so what I'll do is I'll have a look at the first ones that I did when I've finished these to decide how much more like if I do paint outs um but yeah I've kind of got them in sections of um like those are the ones I did first and the second and then these are going to be the thirds but it's actually quite therapeutic doing this it's actually nice to take a break from revision Go back to my roots, you know. I kind of love doing hair stuff, but I do also love dentistry. <laughs> okay, this lighting probably isn't great because the window's behind me. I don't know what just happened. I took a drink of my drink and I've literally just been coughing for about 10 minutes. It's almost as if my drink went down the wrong side and then just choked me. So this is my voice right now not ideal but i thought i would just quickly show you what i'm going to put on my hair extensions to dry them honestly they look like they've lifted uh, i guess you can kind of see up in the, um this light uh they look like they've lifted such a nice beigey blonde so i've not torn them because i don't think i'm gonna have to i actually can't believe how raspy i am just from coughing that was intense i legit thought i'm gonna choke to death and my dad isn't here like i'm gonna <laughs> anyway so dramatic but yeah um i put the three minute miracle treatment on them and kind of just left them they look so nice um and obviously they're gonna dry lighter they always look a bit darker when they're wet so i'm only gonna put on three products which to someone is probably like a lot but to me that's not a lot i put so many products on my hair so i'm going to put on number six olaplex which is the bond smoother i'm going to put this aveda dry remedy um instant visceral repair and it's a heat protectant and then i'm going to put on this hair treatment oil by josh woods which apparently gives radiant shine um i actually don't know where i got this from but I thought I was going to cough again. Um, this is a... Wow, I don't know how to say that word. Prakai. P-R-A-C-A-C-H-Y oil with QQ nut oil. Nut oil. Um, huh? Oh, wait. All right, okay. I was like, what? Um, it says use this, use this versatile lightweight oil as a pre-shampoo nourishing treatment or a few drops to smooth add a gloss to your finished look and 
oh okay so you don't put it on damp hair so i guess i'll put these two on i think i'm going to blow dry them to try and get them nice and smooth um and then i'll put this on after i blow dried them but yes i'm so excited i'm not excited for my voice though but yeah so i will show you them when they are dry and then it will make washing my hair tonight even better but just be glad i'm still alive because i just nearly coughed up to death i feel like because i was in the bathroom washing the treatment off of these i was like if the neighbors can hear me they're gonna think i've got the rona do you have a cough when you've got the rona you'd think i'd know it's been over a year since we've been in lockdown but yeah the sniffles is my hay fever <laughs> but my voice is definitely just the choking that just went down so yeah i'm just gonna give these a detangle put these products in and give them a dry so here is my hair <laughs> as you can see some bits are like really blonde um but on um, i definitely took really fine sections but i just didn't want to damage them too much um i was definitely over cautious i think but you know you live and you learn um i'm thinking do i bleach the ends again but literally just get that whole thing and just bleach it all i just don't want to damage them um ignore my new friend here i can just about get away with wearing them however this section here that i bleached it's not really showing up on camera but in person it's almost got like a pink hue to it it's really pearly it's like a pearly blonde up rather than the beige that i usually go for but i didn't want to put my toner on it to make it go darker um i feel like what's going to help it look brighter is when i get my hair done on tuesday but yeah i'm not sure if i should bleach some parts again like maybe you can see there it's a bit pinky um i'll just leave it but we shall see i just thought i'd put it in um i, I do like how the underneath is still darker because i do quite like those multi-dimensional colors that i see but yeah it's very natural like it's it's definitely lighter i wish i would have like showed you it dry before um it's definitely lighter but just honestly professionally done <laughs> like when i see it in person it looks so much lighter on camera it isn't showing um but it is so much lighter than what it was and it is actually really nice anyways seeing as i'm just going to be rising today i thought i would just end the vlog with an update on my ear so as you can see i've taken one out this one swelled up and got infected again clothes are actually going to refund me um because they messed up my order so call me crazy but i'm going to try this one in there to see how it gets on and i'm going to just order one more of these to go in this one here so then those will be like that but yeah my ear didn't like it i don't know what is going on but this one is completely fine so that is a win but this one not so much but yes i hope you guys enjoyed this little vlog it was a little bit random um and i'll see you all in a couple of days with another one bye